filler to tear trough or lower lid bleff. I'm 28 years old and I've noticed my eye becoming bulgier in the past three years. Am I a good filler candidate for tear troughs? Or is it herniated fat that needs to be surgically removed or repositioned by a lower lid bleff? Thank you. Thank you for your question. You're 28 years old, you've submitted one photo showing the lower eyelid to cheek area, and you're asking a very straightforward question. Should you have uh, lower eyelid uh, blepharoplasty or fat repositioning, or should you have tear trough um, addressed? And that you've described that your eyes have gotten bulgier. Well, as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, I deal with this issue every day of my practice, and many years ago, it was a, lot, a little bit simpler in that we didn't have the option of using fillers to help the tear trough area. And so lately, it's become a question that, is, um, that does come up fairly often. So let me help you understand the situation about the tear trough and how it is related to the puffiness under your eyes. First of all, let's define what the puffiness is. The puffiness is something called lower eyelid fat prolapse, and that is what is causing the eyes to appear bulgier. Now, lower eyelid fat prolapse is usually, and especially when you're younger, more of a genetic condition in that the fat that's normally around your eyes pushes forward. Now, can other factors play a role? Well, very often allergies, smoking can be a factor, and so, it, those should always be managed and of course if you're smoking you should stop. But as far as addressing the, the issue of the appearance under the eyes, I always teach my patients that the tear trough area that looks so deep and hollow is, looks like that partially or significantly because of the volume of the adjacent fat that's pushing forward and creating a mountain. So the mountain makes the valley look deeper. Now in, in my area of Manhattan and in Long Island, a lot of non-surgeons are trying to help people avoid surgery by placing ridiculous amounts of uh, fillers in order to try to hide this, um, this fat prolapse. As a as a cosmetic surgeon, of course, I can do all of these procedures, and so I try to advise my patients in the way that will help them get the best result with the least amount of, uh, of expense and something that's definitive if that is possible. And so my typical recommendation for a young person like yourself who's 28 is to undergo a procedure called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. Now this is a procedure where we approach those fat pockets that have come forward from the inside of the eyelid. And this way we avoid an external scar. This type of procedure not only addresses the puffiness, but can sometimes really make a difference in the relative hollowing of the tear trough. Now that doesn't mean that a lot of our patients still have a certain amount of volume loss in the tear trough area. In fact, a lot of people, especially younger women who are very physically active, and as they get into their late 20s or into their 30s, this area between the eyelid and cheek, called the eyelid-cheek junction, becomes relatively hollow, or there's a little bit of fat that used to be there that's gone, and you get an effacement or a revealing of the rim or the bone of the of the eye and you see the hollowing of the tear trough. So my typical strategy when someone has lower eyelid fat prolapse is to address the fat pockets first and then assess whether or not it makes sense to do kind of any kind of volume enhancement in the tear trough area. Fortunately, there are fillers such as Restylane and then we'll often combine this with platelet-rich plasma uh, borrowing some technology from the orthopedic surgeons and the oral surgeons, and, and we've been successful in helping skin quality and volume loss in the tear trough area in a very synergistic manner, combining PRP 
with Restylane. But in, in, in terms of answering your question, I think that a blepharoplasty is a more definitive procedure for you, and I think you'll see the results that is taking away the big negative that is the dominant feature on your face. So I recommend you meet with qualified and experienced cosmetic surgeons who perform a lot of eyelid surgery, and, and certainly it's important that you resonate um, and feel comfortable with the doctor you choose. And once you do that, I think you'll find that this will be a, a good way to um, help you with the puffiness under your eyes. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.